In the doll factory, obviously, there's a lot of atmosphere, a lot of costumes. Mm. Costume drama, effectively, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Any costume problems, any corsetry issues happening Careful. along the way? This was actually my first time ever wearing a corset, and it's no joke. It is no joke. Well, talk it's us through it. I mean, is it a long time <laughs> to get into it? Uh, it's that? a long time. It's, it takes two people and yourself to get under the corset, and it's a real, like, foot on a table being yanked. Being that, that's yeah. because it's kind of... Yeah, it's from... tighten you the whole, whole way in. And it's a holding whole your large, breath while it's uh, hold, holding your yeah. breath. And I think at the start you always wanted to be as tight as possible. And then by like week two, you're like, no, 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 because no. you can't breathe. Oh, because you, 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 you want it to look. You can't eat. You can't. You want it to look fantastic. You want it to look fantastic. And then yeah. you realise the real pain of looking yeah. fantastic. And then you're so glad that you're a woman in the modern time. Yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> and then presumably once you once you're in the costume, mm -hmm. I don't know. You have lunch break or you have, a, yeah. and then you can't do anything. You just you. You just have to be very economical of your time and everybody else's. <laughs> because it's so. I mean, it, it does look wonderful as well. Very atmospheric, sort of yeah. glue. There's a gloom and a darkness, I guess, which is very much in keeping with the time, wasn't it? Because it was, it was, it was a time when there was a lot of superstition still, wasn't yeah. there? And it, it ties in with that. It was a really exciting time um, in London. There was a lot of revelations and science, and there was a lot happening in the art world. And I think the two of those things mixed together um, just made for such amazing culture to look at on television. But the lighting and how it's shot is so beautiful. It really does feel like a painting. I mean, it's a show about art as well. Um, it does feel like a painting. We used a lot of natural light in it with candles and stuff. And it, I mean, what they've achieved with it is so beautiful. Do you Are you comfortable watching yourself back in your programmes? You know, it depends what it is. Like, Dairy Girls is so fun to watch. And I love to watch everybody else's work that I've worked with making a job that, um, that those type of jobs are enjoyable to watch. I think when it's drama and stuff, it's a bit harder. It depends on what you're doing to watch it. You're a bit more critical. You cast a more critical eye over it. It's not even that it's critical. It's just quite a strange sensation watching yourself upset and stuff. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. OK, OK. But do, yeah. when you watch me back, can you forget that you're acting in it? Or do you, are you, do you still have your work eye on it? I think I'm looking at everybody else that I can sort of... And I love the whole piece, and I've been quite lucky that most of the work that I've done, I really, really love, and mm. I'm quite proud to be part of it. And I've worked with some amazing actors, so I sort of lose myself in their work, and I'm not really looking at myself. What are you working on next? Because it's another um, drama set in the past, isn't it? Yeah. So I've just finished this year a job called The D Cameron. It's coming out on Netflix next year in 2024. And it is a period piece set in for Florence, um, and it is about a group of nobles and their handmaidens being sent out to this villa to ride out the Black Plague, and it's just all sounds about... Sounds miserable. It sounds <laughs> miserable, but it's great crack, I promise you. It <laughs> also it's... sounds like there's going to be a lot of corsetry involved. Are you going to specialise now in corsetry work or not? There's actually no corsetry and ah. corsetry. Corsetry. We corsetry. 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 <laughs> so there's none of it. Was that on your rider under that... no circumstances? Under no circumstances. They actually weren't about at that time. We're going even earlier ah. back than that. And I play an, a really fun and I think quite adorable handmaiden called Misia, who's also on a quest for independence and she goes on a real journey and it was such a pleasure it's it's been one of the best experiences i've ever had i loved it so your acting career you're just loving it i you? am just loving it i feel so so lucky i feel so lucky just oh, had a birthday great. i did just have my birthday <laughs> Happy birthday! Sorry, just was it a good one? It was. It was definitely a good one. Uh, was it a significant one? It was a significant one. I've just turned thirty, um, and we had a big, massive party for it. So I definitely, I definitely marked the occasion. Good. <laughs> Rightly so. Quite right. So. Rightly so. It's been lovely speaking it's been to you. Lovely. Thank, Thank you for Sisha. having me on. Guys. Thank you. So there, oh, you don't oh, get to oh, go. You know, sorry. you don't get to escape. <laughs> yeah. You get to sit here, stay slightly a bit more uncomfortable for about another <laughs> minute or so, and then we'll let you go. Brilliant. It's been lovely Thank seeing you, you Sisha. Uh, the Doll Factory started streaming on Paramount Plus earlier this week. All episodes will be available from tomorrow.